Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still not the the map. Now we're in a rather unsafe area. Apparently there was some pretty considerable uh, repercussions to someone trying to become the overseer by murdering a lot of people. Just to prevent her husband from being the overseer. So, yeah. It's probably mostly because this meant that pe people who were previously sure they would never become the overseer were suddenly eligible to do so. Because the new system was uh, you know, just uh, randomly chosen people. Wait, 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 wait. Get the first aid kit box. Yeah, get all of that stuff. Good. Like a computer chosen number. A lot of people were not happy with that option. I'm going to assume at least. Because a lot of people were feeling pretty safe that they would never become the overseer. I'm still really 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 suspicious that uh, they will see a serve for life despite it being the one year term but I'm not entirely convinced I haven't found any texts to Trouble. you know uh, back my thoughts unless the overseer endorsement guy thingy for that last year over there was full of information of that nature. Run from me. But I don't know for sure. You're alive. That's odd. Okay, there's a lock on a box of ammo. Still missiles because these people did not know how to fight indoors. Rockets are usually not the best solution in that scenario. Oh, water. Why are you so radioactive? The thing is, we're probably going to get radio radiation sickness. Also, um, Uh, where's my rebreather? Thank you. Sure it means I can't aim as steadily, but you know, I'd rather not drown. When it came down to it. I hope my companions are not drowning either. What is that book? Oh, just a small burnt one. Hello, rat. Well, now he knows what happens to rats. You don't betray the family. But there was a lock here, which probably connects up these areas that I was just visiting. Yeah, it does. Well, once we're done here, I'm probably gonna have to take a ride away. How did you survive again? That's enough of that. You big silly. Can we do this move? We can. Yay. Alright, did we upgrade our melee skill at all? Because that's not something we're supposed to be upgrading. But we're almost half a level towards level 26 already, so it might not be a problem. Hmm. Oh, nice. Good afternoon. Each year it is the appointed task of the ombudsman not only to officiate the election but to chronicle it 
but to chronicle it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office, and the world has become still, that one day some excavated from humanity or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings might find their records and incorporate them into historical canon. But lately it's occurred to me that's, that that's not really why. I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this. Or perhaps there will be one when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense, to understand why the world's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has played it for what must be decades by now. There was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies, but now with the rise of the voting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling and god knows what else, we want to know why. When I've been through the archives and I can tell you you won't find the answer there, you'll find an account of the first overseer who entered the world as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place. But he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizen's anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that he would want to choose to sacrifice democratically in the way that the citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds, and that his name would be at the top of the balls and that the simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Ward 11, but he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of us, and the records state after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife spread his name but spread his name and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice he walked down into that room crying like a child i can only wonder if there was are no answers to be found and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice nevertheless i still hold on to hope that we can one find one I urge you all to take the journey I took, to remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Well, I'm not quite sure they took that very positively. The blocksmen, anyway, the one who were so brutally accused of... Uh, Basically everything, mainly corruption and all that shit. Okay, so that was the down floor, the lower floor anyway. That buff there is collapsed. Collapsed. Show we can check this. Oh uh, yeah, this is the same one we just read, right? Alright, uh, that puts us in a situation where we can actually open the door in that worthy place. It does look like they went full on war mode against whatever, whatever threat it was, it was threatening them. I don't know what it may have been. I do hope that the overseer's office is actually gonna help me find whatever it is I actually seek from this place because I'm quite sure it was not the backstory of the place, which is of course quite interesting, but that's not why we're here. Our reason to be here was to find a piece of machinery, technology, um, I'm not sure if our quest actually says what we seek from here. Well, not particularly. It just says that one of these items is in one place and one of the items is in another place. And... Alright, I think we did that path. I think we investigate this. We're investigating this. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think we did this. Uh, <clears throat> I think we have explored this entire floor. 
I don't think we can now take this pre war money and go. Okay. Uh, open sacrificial chamber. I'm not convinced why I'm doing this because I don't think there is any reason for me to actually go down here. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Oh, Wartek. You're so great, Ray. I'm gonna put my shades on for this. So we don't see the light, you know? Because if you don't see the light... The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. I'm wearing shades. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Alright. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier, and remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Ordinary guys with knives and bullets and they're taking over their back. This is so chaotic. Oh well. And that's that sold. Um anything rewarding down here? That's really chaotic. <laughs> uh. I should have gone with more sentry bots. Probably I would not have survived in that case. Okay, and here we have Vault 11 mainframe. Override lockdown. Okay. System recording what? Ah. All right. Let's look at this. It need data misc. All right. I know you can hear me. So listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not going to send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. 
And the automated response mass. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course it is. Wait. Is it. The item we seek is still down here somewhere. Alright, local map. Where is it? Alright, we're gonna go and get it. Because we can't just leave empty handed. We came here with a plan. We plan to retrieve this one item in this one particular place. And we almost forgot about it. Okay, I do need to... Just, you know, look into my radiation levels. Because I am irradiated. Alright, so uh, one right away and we're good. I think. Should be fine. Alright, uh, well, that was surely an adventure. We can now return to the living quarters. Maybe we can find the Vault 11 suit. That'd be nice. I don't have a single one of those, I don't think. What suit did I have? Because I did have one suit back at my... ...thingy. Eat this. Of an apartment kind? A presidential suit. Speak. Whichever. Upstairs. Of that one place. With all the things. Uh, that's leather armor. That's not. That's not a world level. That's an ashtray. Why did I pick up an ashtray? Pick it back in there. You don't need any ashtrays. Press world level and jumpsuit. Okay, good. Now I feel like we have accomplished something. We have come down to a vault. And we got the vault suit, and thus, it's all going to be A-OK. -okay. Now we only need to locate a spatula. I'm not entirely certain if they were actually keeping any of the spatulas back in their dressing, sleeping room, these thingies. But we can hope. For hope, hope is what keeps us going. And as such, Maybe we can find the special. Maybe we cannot find the special there. In which case, then suck. Alright, my Volt 11 jumpsuit is not completely broken and this rat is completely broken. So, uh, he doesn't share the pleasures that my jumpsuit does. What a shame. For sure. I'll take that. Always time to read a bit about punching people in the face. Especially if the book has pictures. Alright, uh, that's not gonna help me. That's not gonna help me. I think that might. Let's see. Uh, does that fully repair it? Almost. But what we can do with it is this. So now my own armor is also almost repaired. There's two jumpsuits in here though, so we can fully repair both of these outfits. Like this. And like this. Nice. Oh, what we have is the Vault 21. Apparently I haven't even taken it off. 
These living quarters are really large and I'm not entirely certain that there is going to be anything else in here that is going to actually benefit me in a major way. But I kind of wish to check out without the just in case. Yeah. Like there might be a bullet cap or something. I got a cigarette, so I'll take that, sure. Bear in mind that the fire gecko uh, height actually has a better rate to price ratio. Yet they refuse to loot that. Yet I'm still taking cartons of cigarettes because I guess I'm kind of used to looting that by now. So it's less about value, more about you know I I usually loot this, so why not? Which isn't really a good plan. That's not a good reason to do things. Alright, have we checked this path? Might have. And actually, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's just ditch this party. I don't even think it's a real party. Oh wait, this is that way. Right, so the way we want is that way to leave this place to once again seek the surface to see the sunlight above us to praise the clouds that soar against the sky like I don't know things well punched Veronica that was a good punch oh and I forgot my motivational speech what a shame. Hello, gentlemen. You're a rat, you're not a gentleman. No gentleman would rat out their comrades. Hmm. Same goes for you, Mantis. No gentleman would Mantis us out. Did I see correctly? No, I think I did. Those are some really heavy tweezers. Hello! I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think... I don't think I understand how you even got in there, because um, I'm not quite sure you can't open doors. Or if you can open them, I... I'm less likely to believe that you can close them while you're inside there because the door kind of opened right into your face. And as such, the situation seemed really silly. Okay, well. Congratulations, we have solved the mystery of Vault 11. I wonder what happened to the five survivors. I said sunlight. This isn't sunlight. For fuck's sake. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I know you're in here. Oh, he was actually in there.